Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be like, I think, I don't know if it'll be like a deep one or like whatever. This is actually very new and raw that's happened with me, but I thought it was best to get it all out now because it's like, at least I don't have a sense of confusion about what's happened. Um, it's not like really new, but it's like happened in the last few months um, and stuff like that. So, um, I want to go into this for people that may have had this happen and not aren't fully aware of what it is or whether um, it's something I think it's quite common um, I think it comes under the realm of what I would say is toxic relationship um, but also abusive because it was like physically and verbally um, so I want to go and use it as a bit of a confessional kind of but more to spread awareness um, and process what's gone on a little bit since because I've definitely learned about myself since the experience happened um, but I think now I've actually come to have an idea of it more I think I can see more of a full picture of what's happened and why so let's get into it basically I met someone um, we became friends and we, I don't want to go into like all of the dynamics because it's not really relevant, um, but let's just say, like, I've learned from this that I'm very protective of my sleep, like anyone is, I'm very protective of my own peace, and if someone disrupts that peace, it makes me very angry and I can blow up to, to get annoyed by it, but do you ever feel like you're set up to get annoyed by someone? I this would be my perception but looking back I don't know how accurate it was I think there was a sense of that and I'm glad I've got this clarity of hindsight already since it being so um recent um but I didn't see throughout most of this situation what was really going on I was just very confused because I think the other person just didn't have the same mindset as me like I think I'm very analytical about how I think and I think they're very just like emotion driven and just kind of more simple than me I feel like um and I just think like I would just kind of like try and problem solve the relationship I think what I've realized is in relationships you do have to be on that same I don't think you necessarily have to have the same intelligence level but you have to be able to communicate on the same level and both be able to like adapt with that like this relationship it never really worked on a logistic level it never worked it was nice like to meet them and stuff like they're a good person but it's it shows that like if you do like spark that much frustration off in each other it's just not going to be a healthy environment like I don't want to be that person where I'm always nagging someone else I'm always you know getting angry at someone else like I've got friends in my life that I've had for a long time that I don't get angry at but the fact is not everything works out I'm not going to fully blame myself but I feel like you have to some point take you know some understanding of what's gone on and I think as a as a primal instinct we're always going to want to protect ourselves so if you are getting disturbed all the time it depends how how you are but with me um lockdown gave us all a lot of like panic and raised our general anger levels um from how it would be under you know three years ago kind of circumstance um and I feel like I was ingesting a lot of um smoke from like weed that they were having uh, which also heightened my anxiety I feel like and I was just being woken up all the time I hardly ever slept through the night every single time I'd have an issue they'd freak out and just and like I think they did have like um I don't want to like like be too explicit but I do think I know that for a fact that they had um certain needs let's say um and I thought I could handle I didn't think I could handle it but I think it all just was difficult for me because I I'm not being very good at explaining this am I so I just think like it slowly happened where like I think if if, if you have I've, I noticed this at the very beginning that we were very different in our like algorithm if you know what I mean like how we are and I think you do have to be on a similar algorithm for things to work sometimes because if you are that different like it's just I knew that from the beginning it never worked like we both knew it would never work but we kind of tried to push it and I do think we were both at one point in love with each other but it's it's unhealthy um and it's so annoying how you can be so fond of someone but at the same time not just just get so angry at them for things that 
like it's not like a, it's not that's not the problem the problem's not being angry because angry is a natural healthy emotion but you're just so incompatible and like I just think people are how they are we all have our own baggage but you've got to look in the moment like I feel like one of the things I was doing was trying to a I was blinded by love if you like b I was like um unaware of their 